Hey everybody, Chris Pulver here, and welcome back to another installment of the Pulver Report, where we trade to be profitable, not perfect. Now, you may have watched your crypto or stock portfolio get slapped around a little bit the past week or so. I was up late last week on Friday, playing my usual Fortnite with friends, and my phone was going crazy. I had alerts and notifications from Coinbase Pro and TradingView blowing up my phone. Now, it was kind of amazing, but I also know that it was a wild week. We had lots of volatility. I had red days and green days. And because cryptos are traded 24-7, it lingered into aftermarket hours. I wanted to take a break. And all of a sudden, get all these crypto alerts on Friday night. Now, I couldn't put my finger on exactly what was happening, but I did know this. I've been talking about these levels, these levels that I want to buy more cryptos. And Bitcoin, I want to buy more at 40,000. I want to buy more at 30,000. Now, we saw the drop from 68,000 on Bitcoin all the way down to the lows of like 42,000. That's about a 40% correction. And I'm just trying to play some video games and have some fun, but it's pretty distracting when I'm like, I think I need to start buying some cryptos. Now, I decided at 4 a.m. that it's time for me to call the night. And I knew I'd do some research in the morning to figure out what exactly happened. Now, loud and proud, I saw El Salvador was buying the dip on Bitcoin. In fact, they bought 150 whole Bitcoins. Now, great for them, good for them. The country's now sitting on 1,270 Bitcoin, which right now with the spot exchange at 50,000, that's worth around $63 million. And El Salvador is trying to fund a Bitcoin city project. And this is gaining a ton of attention and a lot of headlines. Now, the country intends to issue the world's first sovereign Bitcoin bond and build a city with, get this, no income taxes, no property taxes, no capital gains taxes. Holy wealth utopia. Now, the fine print says there will be about a 10 to 13% value added tax to fund city construction and services. El Salvador plans to issue a $1 billion dollar denominated 10 year bond. And this bond will pay 6.5% interest via the liquid network. And that is a Bitcoin side chain network. Now, approximately half of the funds will be converted to Bitcoin and the other half will be used for infrastructure and Bitcoin mining. And the Bitcoin mining will be powered by none other than geothermal energy. Did I mention that this energy is from a volcano? The investment phases have a five-year lockup period, and then the El Salvadorian government will begin to sell Bitcoins and pay additional dividends to investors. What's even crazier is that a model created by Blockstream shows that on the 10th year of the bond, the annual percentage yield will be 146% because of Bitcoin's projected appreciation. Now, this is assuming, of course, that Bitcoin will hit a million dollars in value in the next five years. Now, El Salvador is making a very ambitious and a very bold play to become the new financial center of the world. And they're calling themselves the Singapore of Latin America. Now, Bitcoin is officially a legal tender in El Salvador. And if you remember, this was announced back in September and it was met with praise by enthusiasts and protests ever since. I've said this before, but what side of the coin are you on? In fact, what side of the volcano are you on? Investors in this project are going to be awarded with permanent residence and fast track for citizenship. The Bitcoin bond issuance will begin in 2022, which is right around the corner. Now the Liquid Network and Bitfinex are both involved in the financial process. Now all this sounds pretty amazing, all right? But I do think that the central plaza designed to look like a Bitcoin is a bit much, it's a little ostentatious, but of course it's fitting. And this project is not just awesome. It's not just all systems go. It does have its naysayers. And so far there are no technical plans for the actual project. While El Salvador has the natural resources to generate the energy, it does not yet have the infrastructure. El Salvador is one of the poorest countries in the region in Latin America. Now, another potential issue is how the city is funded. Attracting investment is great but attracting investment can be a very dicey game with the El Salvadorian government lacking institutional controls to detect and sanction any type of illicit funding activities. You know this, all the projects with Bitcoin are not exactly transparent, so it's difficult to guarantee that there are no money laundering operations. And furthermore, with Bitcoin accepted as legal tender in El Salvador, a recent study, a recent survey from the citizens are showing that there's still predominantly using the dollar. 91.4% are still using the dollar. 4.9% are preferring Bitcoin. Now, citizens are reporting that everything is more expensive. 
basic necessities, materials, oils, meats. Hmm. That pretty much sounds like the entire world right now. It's called inflation, right? El Salvador will have to pay around $1.65 billion to investors for this project. The report shows that President Bukele's government is currently in negotiations with the IMF or the International Monetary Fund for a $1.3 billion loan to improve the state's financial standing. This is also to help the state avoid defaulting on sovereign bonds that are maturing in 2023. Now, some naysayer economists are saying that the Bitcoin City project is just a desperate act to seek financing for populist programs. Moreover, we all know, or we should know, that cryptos come with high volatility. And the El Salvadorian government sticks to the growth figure and projected targets, but it's not exactly real. It's still speculation. And spending a country's government money and allocating a country's budget to a deeply speculative market is certainly on what you could say the risky side. Now, some argue that it's like gambling with public money, betting without having any certainty. Now, on one hand, it's great if all of this works out. It's great if the project generates a ton of money for everyone that's involved and leads a poor nation into prosperity. But the worst case scenario is that Bitcoin doesn't appreciate. Bitcoin falls, and this does irreparable damage and loss for an already poor nation. And one final naysayer note, the clean energy and zero carbon promise not so fast, says the energy expert. It could take way longer to build this city from scratch. And using clean energy to mine Bitcoin could leave a lot of people without electricity because the country currently imports electricity. So to offset that, they'll have to create plants that burn petrol and burn petrol derivatives. And that, of course, will lead to more pollution. Now, if you've never been to El Salvador, it's already hot there, right? So cooling solutions will also be required, which will consume more energy and more electricity. So on your marks, get set, go Kano. This Bitcoin city is massive speculation, okay? But you have to give President Bukele credit for the vision. It is a gutsy play, all right? It is an aggressive and optimistic play, but I hope for the sake of the citizens and I hope for the sake of the investors involved that it all works out. And I really would love this to lay the groundwork for a brighter future, perhaps helped by the rise of cryptocurrency and game theory that helped this come to fruition. Now, 2022 is right around the corner. I am interested to see how this project will be moving along. I don't want to be a naysayer, all right? I think it's crazy ambitious, and I'm very bullish on cryptos over the next five to 10 years. I see this as a potential win-win. If Bitcoin gains in value and continues to appreciate, we would see wealth and prosperity for generations to come. If you're still using rotary phones or dial-up for your internet, Maybe cryptos aren't for you, but it's hard to deny that they're not the future in some way, shape, or form, and they're certainly stirring things up. Now, I'd like to be optimistic about cryptos. I'd like to be optimistic about humanity, and with today's media, sometimes that's pretty darn hard. So, Godspeed El Salvador. The world will be watching and probably taking notes on what to do, what you can do, and certainly what not to do if it doesn't go according to plan. So that'll do it for today's Pulver Report video. If you like today's content, please clickety-click the thumbs up button and like the video and support my channel. And as always, you can join me live for the Pulver Report on Mondays and Fridays at youtube.com slash chrispulver. And if you're looking for my top weekly picks, whether it's a stock, an option play, Forex, or cryptos, subscribe to my newsletter at pulverreport.com. And you can even trade with me live for one month for $27, just check out the trading room section in the Poll Report website. Bitcoin City, cryptos, beats, bears, Battlestar Galactica. Happy trading, lots of profits. See you all soon on the Poll Report. Thanks for watching.